Welcome to JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be discussing on the fourth, the first form of a cone. By my right here is the image, and they say we should produce the plan, the end elevation, and the development. First thing we'll do we'll produce our plan. So given that the base of our cone over there is 50 millimeter, the diameter is 50 millimeter, so we'll take the radius which is 25 millimeter i've already picked it from my rule now I'll bring it at this point of intersection here and then i'll draw my circle then i'll project my i'll bring my t square upward first and i'll draw a horizontal line I'll project the side of my circle upward now call this point here point a project the other side I'll call this point point B now if you check this point here a to B then a to B you find out that it is 50 millimeter so they say the height of my cone is 65 millimeter. So I'll pick 65 millimeter using my rule. Put the point at 65. Call this point here point C. I'll join point C to point A. And also I'll join point C to point B. They say they say 20 millimeter that we use 20 millimeter to get this portion. So we'll measure 20 millimeter from point C downward and then we'll draw. I said from our diagram here from this point A. The show should take 30 degree, so we'll take 30 degrees in our set square from point A. Then the next thing we'll do outline the portion that needs to be outlined. We have succeeded in outlining it, so my next step is that I'll divide my circle into 12 equal number of parts. I've succeeded in dividing my circle into 12 equal number of parts. Then I will number it. I'll start over here as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 0. Also here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Five. The next thing I'll do, I'll project my lines to touch line AB upward, project them upward to touch line AB. Then I'll project these lines to point C. I've succeeded in doing that. Then I will number this as zero. One, two, three, four, five, and then zero. Now, from point zero, I'll project the point straight, a straight line to hit line zero. You can see it here, it hits line zero at this point. So, from point one, this point, I'll project the line straight 
to hit line one. Know that I have to line one, so this is where one of my points is, and this is the second portion. Then from point two, upgrade a straight line downward to hit line two at this point. This place also. Now I'll move to four. I'll project a line straight to hit line four. This is line four. And also hit line four here. From point five, I'll project a line straight to hit line five. This is line five here. And this is line five over here. At line zero, I'll project a line straight to hit line zero. Then I'll put the point. Now, from line three, I'll take my set square, my T square upward, and I'll draw a straight line to the side of my cone, and then I'll pick that distance of the line I produced, I've constructed, and I'll place it at the point, at the midpoint of the circle. I'll put a point at line three. And also put another point at line three. Then I'll trace this out using my pencil. I'm done tracing. Then I'll outline with my pencil. Make sure white trace you don't have double lines. And let no one know that you even traced the image. That's why I make it light and then outline. I'm done with this. I'm done with one part of the plan. And then I'll move to the top side. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 0. So I'll project points at this point here point zero down to where it hits line zero i'll put a point hits line zero at this point here line zero at this point also i'll project point one where it hits line one it hits line one here line one and also line one here also, I'll do that. Do the same for two. Project. Where hit line two, it hits line two here. And also hit line two here. Then I'll move to point four. Then I'll project where it hits four. You can see hit line four here. And line four here. Four. For where it hits five, I'll project it hits line five over here and here. Now, then when it hits line zero, you can see it hits line zero over here. Then for line five, for line three, I'll pick the distance between zero to line three here. Pick the distance from zero to three. And then I'll bring it to the midpoint of the circle, put the point, and then I'll put my point. I'll trace this and then I'll outline. So I've succeeded in getting the plan. So I've succeeded in getting the plan of my diagram. Now trying to do the end elevation, I'll bring my set square and then I'll pick distance of my choice. Then I'll project angle 45 degree downward. This way. Then you observe that from here is my center line. 
So I'll project the center line upward using my set square. Remember, it's a cone, so indicate it with a center line. I've done that. So now I'll project my point three till it hits my angle 45 degree and then I'll project it upward till it hits my line over here I'll call this line 3 then I'll move to 4.4 .4 and 2.2 and 4 and then I'll project once it hits my angle 45 I'll project upward And then I'll call that line line two comma four. I'll move to one and five, and then I'll project if it hits my angle forty five degree, I'll project upward. And I'll call that line one comma five. I'll do same thing also downward. Project hits my 45 degree. I'll project upward. I'll call that line 1,5. Also, I'll do same thing for 2 and 4. When it hits my angle 45, I project upward. And then I'll call that line. 2,4 and then lastly I'll project 3 where it hits my angle I'll project upward and I'll cut that line 3 now I'll raise my T square up and I'll project line from point C so it hits my center line and I'll call this point C1 I'll join each of this line to point C1 I've succeeded in joining those lines to point C so now I'll move to my main image of my diagram you can find that at point 0, point 0.1, point 0.235 to point 0 on a straight line so I'll project a straight line over here so I'm draw, I've drawn a straight line to this point indicating that all those points are on the same line now I'll move to my image at point zero I'll project the line to it hits line zero you can see line zero comma zero So the next, which I'll do, I'll move to point 0.5 over here, and then I'll project my line since it hits line 5. Now you see, I'm having 1,5, so 1 is here. I'm having 1,5, another point is here. I'll move to 4. I'll project the line since it hits line 4. I'll come and check and see point 0.4 is here 2,4 so point 0.4 is here come here also 2,4 so point 0.4 is here I'll do same thing to 3 and I see that point 0.3 is here also point 0.3 is here now I'll do same thing to 2 project the line to hit line 2 over here you see 2,4 so 2 is here and also here 2 is here I'll do same thing to 1 project the line and you can see over here 5 1,5 so point 1 is here also here 1,5 point 1 is here and I'll do same to the last spot which is point 0 over here you find out that point 0 is here the last line here. So now you trace, we we'll trace the those points. Mm 
and then we'll outline remember to outline neatly and make sure the line you trace does not show so I joined the portion of the diagram that needs to be outlined I have succeeded in outlining that and I'm done with the end elevation so I'm moving to the development now this is one of the most simplest method of drawing the development so you can use formula then you can pick a point and do wherever you want to take your development to you can what is the most simplest method so far you stretch your compass to point a and then you draw now you transfer the distance of your circle because each distance of your circle here equal equally spaced spaced then you mark it out on your projected arc then we succeeded in transferring the distance then we join each of these points to point C We have succeeded in joining them together to point C. Then we number as zero, five, four, three, two, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then zero. Now you can see that zero are three one two three the reason is that we're splitting cutting this image into two and we're opening it this way like we are slicing this trying to open the image and then split it apart that's what we are doing here so we start our pin at c we place it since this is in a straight line then we we'll project on a straight line then the next we'll do now is the bottom part from C to point zero, stretch to point zero, and then we'll project a line, and then we'll locate line zero, the line zero here, put the point, also line zero here, put your point. Also we'll stretch to Point five. And then we at line. Now you can see at point five, line five, you put the point, line five, put your point. They are very close. So I'll stretch to my line four and then I'll draw now come to line 4 put my points also I'll look for line 4 here and then I'll put my points I move to stretch to point 3 and then I'll look for line 3 put my points over here to line 3 put my points I'll stretch to point two then i'll locate point two here i'll put my points point two here i'll put my point then i'll look stretch to point one and i'll locate point one here i'll put my point and then point one here i'll put my point now at point zero you find that at point zero here is a line here that will put a point at point zero and then we'll mark 
we'll join our points together trace our points together succeeded in tracing then we'll outline it remember that the tracing you do you should be the only one seeing it so that the tracing I did is for just my outline to be neat and looking nice but it's not allowed to trace so then we'll outline the portion that needs to be outlined push them together and join this push them together so we succeeded in getting our pattern we succeeded in getting our development which is C thank you for watching I still remain GC engineering and technical drawing do have a blessed day ahead thank you don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel